Hi YouTube, it's Susie and I'm back again today with a quick comparison video with the Odeon Tote in the PM size. Uh, comparing it to the Sienna PM and the Speedy 25B. So we'll just hop right into it. Uh, first I'll give you the measurements of each bag and then we can do um, a comparison side by side and then we can see, I've got a bunch of items here, we can see what fits in it. So the Odeon is 10.6 by 8.7 by 3.5 and then we've got the Speedy, sorry I'm referencing my notes, uh, is 9.8 by 7.5 by 5.9. And these are all inches, of course. Um, then we've got this beautiful Sienna PM, and this one is actually 11.8 because it you know, flares out uh, by 8.3 by 4.7 inches. So all three of them do include a crossbody adjustable strap. Um, they're all removable, so it's pretty, they're all pretty comparable when it comes to that. Uh, I'll grab the three crossbody straps real quick. So here we have uh, the Odeon Tote. It's a black leather. Um, it's adjustable with, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight holes. Um, I've got it on the longest. And then we've got the Speedy B strap comes in three pieces. It is adjustable to shoulder length or crossbody. And then we've got two holes on this side and two holes on this side. And then the Sienna PM strap, it is the thinnest of the three, making it probably the least comfortable. Um, so here we've got the Odeon, the Speedy B, and the, uh, oh, hold on, sorry. Do that again. Here we've got the Speedy V, the Odeon, and the Sienna. So the Sienna is thin. I don't find it uncomfortable, so you know, there's that. It's got one, two, three, four, five holes to adjust it. So I would say, all in all, definitely these two bags are very comparable. Now, I've had this for a couple of days. Um, I mentioned in my last video that the canvas feels much thinner uh, than actually both of my other bags. And the more I feel it, the more it almost feels rubbery. I don't love it. I have to be honest. I, I'm not loving this rubbery sort of feel. My Sienna is, feels much more, the canvas is much, much more substantial. Um, it just feels like a heavier, uh, quality bag. So yeah, so let's see what fits in all of these. Um, well, let's just do a real quick like this so we can see the size of them next to each other. So here we've got the Odeon and here we have the Sienna. We've got them side by side. There we go. Let's put them like this. This is a beautiful bag. I'm just not completely sold on the way it feels. Um, I think for $2,000, it shouldn't really feel like rubber and it kind of does. Like, I don't know. Okay, so. All right, so let's hop into what fits in this beautiful bag. I do not have an organizer in it. I don't have an organizer in it, so um, we'll just sort of put things in there and see what fits. I think for this, the purpose of this video, we'll just do the Sienna and, and the Odeon because we all know that this is just a black hole, that you could probably put half a china in this bag. All right, so let's go with, let's start with some larger items. So I pulled out, I've got an Agenda PM. No, MM, sorry. I do have a PM, but... So, and it fits, and there is plenty of space still, plenty. Let's throw in, we'll throw in the uh, pochette accessory, see if it fits. Not with that. We take out, if we take out the agenda, 
the ship accessory fits, which is kind of nice. Bag in a bag, right? Okay, so then we're gonna need a wallet. Let's, for the purpose of this, we'll use a Rosalie coin purse. We'll put that in there. I totally forgot my key clay. Shoot, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> We shall continue. So I just put in a Rosalie coin purse. I have these little old, um, these are pretty old, uh, sunglasses case. I forget the name of it, but I actually keep reading glasses in one and I have a monogram version that I keep my sunglasses in. So I always have this with me. The key clay. And just, we'll just go ahead and put in like a little card holder. And all this still fits beautifully with plenty of space, plenty, plenty. So let's just see if the water bottle would fit. It's not gonna fit sitting straight up. I would not put a water bottle in um, the bag, but some people do, look at that. Let's see if it closes like this. It's wonky. It's wonky. All right, let's try something different. Let's take out the uh, pochette accessory and we're going to put in a toiletry 19. Oh gosh, that's, it's, it's perfect. This bag holds so much. Let me just organize them. It'll be better once you can see it all fits. So nice. So if you, let's say you didn't carry something quite this size and you have the 15. So we'll put in the 15 and then we're gonna put in a PM agenda too. And this pretty, my favorite Palme d'Amour print, what else? And let's go ahead and throw in a mini pochette because you know, we got lots of stuff to carry. So much. Um, let's now take out the Rosalie coin purse and replace it with a larger wallet. So this is the old Zippy Compact. Oh, there's the dust bag. I love this wallet. I'll never ever sell this wallet. Um, I don't really use it very often, but it's just nice to have in my collection. So let's reorganize around a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So here's all of those items and let's close her up. Yeah, this one's going to be good. Got a lot in there actually. Okay, so let's go and put the items that I have right here. Let's put them into the Sienna PM and see where we get. Okay, so we have compact zippy wallet. We have sunglasses case. We have Agenda PM. We have a toiletry 15. A mini pochette. My key clay, which I have had, I think it's my first item I ever got. And a um, card holder. Guys, it's perfect. This this bag holds so much. All right, now let's zip it. Is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. Look at that. It's beautiful. It holds all of it. Actually, I'm going to say I think this holds more. Because of the way that it flares out at the sides, I could still, I still have plenty of room. I don't know if you can see that. Um, let's put in a YSL wallet. Yep, still good. And we're gonna put in a Rosalie coin purse. We're gonna zip her up. Looks like it's a little wonky, but not nothing crazy. So these, both of these bags hold pretty much the same amount of items. I, I think at the end of the day, 
the Sienna is going to hold a little bit more than this Odeon. And I'm going to be honest with you, if, if you're on the fence about buying this bag, just be forewarned, it kind of feels like rubber. Um, this doesn't feel like that at all. This is very nice. I was, I'm definitely, I was going to sell it and I'm, I'm not going to. I'm going to keep it in my collection because, you know, there's a place for it. And um, it's a wonderful crossbody bag when you need to car carry, you know, more items. Obviously, I never carry this much. Um, but, yeah, there we go. You know, another concern I have about this bag is, do you remember the Palos? It, it's such a beautiful bag. I love that bag. I especially love how it has the side pocket because I'm a side pocket girl. I need that side pocket for my phone. I need that easy access so, you know, I'm on and off the phone all day. Um, if I'm out traveling, I, I need to get to that phone quickly. But um, I'm scared that this is going to start like, you know how the Palos starts going like, like the, oh God, I can't even do it. Like it starts bending down and like drooping. It's like a droop. So that kind of concerns me. Um, honestly, I'm on the fence whether or not I'm going to keep this. I, I I really love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful bag, but I don't know. It just, it just feels so cheap. I hate to say that, but yeah, this is probably going to be a no-go for me. So, um, I hope it helps. If you decide that you love this bag, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, you know, it's a stunner. There's no doubt about it. It's a stunner. And maybe this is the way all the canvas is now. And I just don't know because it's been a while since I've bought a Louis Vuitton canvas bag. Um, the past couple of bags I bought have been leather. So I just, I guess I, I may just not even know that this just may be the way it is now. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, give it a like and uh, you can subscribe to my channel. I am going to do uh, a video on weight loss actually because I'm getting ready to turn 51 and uh, I don't know how old anyone is that's watching this, but if you've, you're starting to hit menopause, you understand how difficult it is to lose weight. Uh, so I've started a diet and I've actually lost um, well, I'm not even going to call it a diet. It's uh, just changing the way that I eat. And I've actually lost six pounds last week and I'm going to keep it up. Um, so I thought maybe I would share what I'm doing, what I'm eating, what I'm not eating, um, exercise and kind of have like a weekly video on that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, guys. Bye bye.